Paul Morrow is the winningest head coach in Arizona high school football history and began his coaching career at Blue Ridge High School in 1984. Morrow is now the head coach at Marcos Deniza and just completed his second season with the Padres. He has won 339 games and 13 state championships, but for Morrow, it has never been about winning a certain amount of games. It would be fun to be the, take all the credit, but you know, it's like the president, uh, you know, Eisenhower was the president when they ended World War II, but he didn't win the war. He just was the president. That's kind of how I feel, is I get all the credit, but my coaches and my players get, did all the work. They, they feel the love and admiration, the unconditional love that I have for them, even when they screw up. And I yell at them, and then I hug them. You know, I still love you, you're just a dummy, you know? <laughs> Why in the world did you go that way when the ball was going the other way? I have no idea. However, like most coaches, he has faced a few detrimental setbacks, but Morrow's biggest setbacks have been off the field. His son battled chronic pain and migraines for 10 years. He couldn't take the pain any longer and committed suicide two years ago. Then his dad passed away during the football season this year. It's what happens to everybody that has that kind of chronic pain. The end is the same. They all commit suicide. I think I'm able to take my son and put him to the side and live my life and still be able to, whenever I want, go into that compartment and, and see my son and see our times together and things like that. And then when I have, I've had enough and I come back to what the life I live actively on this earth. My dad died during football season this year, which is okay because it was his time. You know, he had lived a good life and not, no tears or anything, it's just his time. So, life just keeps moving on. And if losing his father and his son months apart wasn't enough, he was diagnosed with advanced lung cancer in early September. As a physical education teacher at Marcos Deniza, Morrow has been on leave since he was diagnosed with cancer. He returned to teaching part-time on November 16th. But despite being on leave, he still coached his team on game day and attended practices when he could. The doctors were like, uh, do you, did anybody tell you yet? And I'm like, well, what? They go, well, you've got cancer. It's like, okay. And they were more like shocked because most people like freak out. And I just didn't freak out because I got cancer, I got cancer. If I'm going to die tomorrow, I'm going to die tomorrow. I just can't. That's something you're not going to change, so no, no use to freak out about that. The Padres went a couple weeks without Morrow at practice, but he still made it to every game except one. And his players are inspired by the willpower of their leader and how Morrow has been able to coach while still fighting cancer. To have a head coach that is uh, as dedicated as most players should be and you know come out here with everything he's dealing with, uh, physically and emotionally, it's a thing that you look up to and things you want to do to yourself, you know what I'm saying? So you want to come out here and you want to play your hardest and you want to give it your all. And whatever the outcome is, you feel good about that because you gave it your all. Well, Coach Morrow is like, uh, he's like, he's like a, it's like a superhero. He's like, he's like always, he's always there for us. And like, even though he's battling cancer, he's like, he's like, he's never, He's never like missing out on time with us. He's like, he's always trying to spend time with us, trying to better us and help us go farther. I'm a fortunate one in life, whereas I get to live my passion. I live my passion. I got to play. I played football since 1966 or whatever. Played football, played college football, turned around and coached ever since. It's my passion. This will be Morrow's first full week back teaching since he was diagnosed with cancer. And at 65 years young, he plans on coming back to coach for Marcos Deniza next season. For Cronkite Sports, I'm Austin Burnett.